Tell me what happened. Uh, well, we uh, I planned to go to Calgary um, for our playoff game, so I was down on Friday night for practice and uh, went to bed with all all being well. And then at 12:30, uh, my wife Shelby here called saying her water had broke, so I, I got in the car and drove home. <laughs> and uh, we stayed at home there till about seven in the morning. And then we went off to the Great Nuns Hospital and at 10.24 our little Gracie was born so uh, I hung out with mom and, and, and Gracie until about 12.30 uh, when we got our got our room and then uh, got in the car and made my way back to Calgary for the playoff game. So so there obviously was trepidation, I mean your wife's due and you thought you were going to Calgary and but the odds were that your baby could be born while you're on the road and it must have been a lot of trepidation first and a lot of stress that way. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't very good in practice on uh, Friday night and I kept telling myself, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Once you get on the floor, you, you know, you'll forget that stuff. But I hadn't, so uh, I got to the hotel. I never unpacked my bags. I kind of maybe had a had a hunch that something was going to happen. So uh, Gracie had great timing. Um, I was able to uh, witness her being born and then be with my wife, who was uh, amazing that day, and uh, then get down to Calgary and help the guys uh, contribute. And And... You know, not to lessen the miracle of birth, but then you made the game and scored, and it was great, great scoring game and a great game for you guys. And yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think the thing I'm most proud of is just the guys in the room, how, how you know alert they were and attention to detail and, and the little things we did well. So, I mean, I, uh, I played on adrenaline, didn't have many hours of sleep, but uh, like I said earlier, I was just flying around and enjoying the moment. Yeah, and I, I bet you it was just fun, eh? I mean, you had this, you knew you had this beautiful baby, and everything was good, you know, wife yeah. was healthy. And yeah, I didn't really have too much time to think. I uh, just got out on the floor and I just played, so it's almost like you went back to, back to being young again. So uh, hopefully that's what she'll do is keep us young. So um, now you're in the, this is a great run here, and well, how are you feeling about it? What are you, Oh, I mean, uh, having played Minnesota twice and then winning in overtime and losing in, in overtime, obviously, we uh, we feel we match up very well with them. Uh, we're excited. That's basically it. I mean, just like uh, playing Calgary, we're, we're looking to make plays, not to be scared, to enjoy the moment and uh, to let it all hang out. So uh, we've been good, uh, you know, preparing for Calgary last week, and we're going to be good preparing for Minnesota this week, and then we just got to go out and execute. Future's in your hands. Future's Later. in our hands. Yeah, future's in our hands both ways, yeah. So no, uh, we're looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to a life with uh, my wife and my daughter, and I'm looking forward to the game on uh, Saturday. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. 28.5 inches. 52 centimeters. And uh, eight pounds two ounces.